The beloved Suzuka had a couple of unplanned years away from the calendar, but it's now back where it belongs, at the heart of the Formula One season. Welcome along to the Japanese Grand Prix. We're southwest of the city of Nagoya today at the unique figure of eight Suzuka circuit. 3.6 miles and 18 corners make up a lap here with average speeds approaching 136 miles per hour. DRS will be available, of course, into the potential passing opportunity at turn one, although the best place for overtaking will be through 130R and into the final chicane. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks like for today's race. Max Verstappen put in a fantastic lap yesterday and he'll start from pole position. And Lewis Hamilton completes the front row. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Sainz, Russell, Leclerc, Perez, Norris, Fernando Alonso, Magnussen, Bottas, Gasly, Blue, Joe, Sonoda, Stroll, Oscar Piastri, Albon, Hulkenberg, De Vries, and Esteban Ocon lines up at the back of the grid. Now it's almost time for lights out, so let's go down to the track. Anthony Davidson, a very warm welcome to you as you join me in the commentary box for today's event. Let's talk about Blue. What do you make of their performance so far this season? Well, the atmosphere within that team seems very positive at the moment. Everyone seems like they're in great spirits and having a lot of fun doing what they do. And that's definitely contributed to the performances we've seen. Here we go then, the formation lap gets underway and the excitement here is building as we near ever closer to the start of the race. Which team will come out on top? Who's got their strategies right for today's race? But we'll soon find out. So as all the cars take their positions on the grid, the teams will be hoping their strategies pay off for them in today's race. The question I'm asking is which teams have got it right and which ones have got it horribly wrong?
Gate DRS will be enabled this lap. You can use it when you're within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. incident in front of you. Red flag, red flag. We'll update you in the pits. Everyone's okay. Okay, there's been an incident on track resulting in loose debris. Fortunately, this is essentially a free stop, so let's think very carefully about our strategy for the rest of this race. Good to get back on track. Let's make the best of this restart. Let's go. Okay, careful with the overtakes. That was a bit risky. We could have received a penalty. Charge is high, let's use that overtake button a bit more.
nice move. Good job. OK, the stewards have now enabled DRS. DRS is now online. you. They're on fresh mediums. Norris is behind you. Okay, the gap is less than a second. They're on fresh mediums. Okay, so gap to the leader is 2.6 seconds. That was our last stop. No more scheduled pit stops. Let's go. And that's eight laps to go. Suzuka, a brilliant win on the beloved figure of eight circuit. Tell me, Ant, how do they manage to achieve this win? Well, they certainly stood out as a driver with tons of confidence on the track. I think their ability to keep their cool, even during some of the more hectic parts of the race, meant they were able to capitalise on the mistakes of other drivers, giving them the opportunity to make their way to the top spot with ease. Here come today's winners. The team at Red Bull have done a phenomenal job recently and it's clear to see that they've put in the work and they should be so proud of the victory they've secured here.
let's have a quick look at how the driver's standings have changed. Max Verstappen should be pleased with his performance, making gains at the top of the table. Let's focus on the driver of the day, Anthony Davidson. Who do you pick? I have to give it to Blue. They did a great job at getting the most out of their tyres without losing pace, something that's a very handy skill to have in modern-day Formula 1. It's time to check out the constructors' standings. And pulling further ahead in the standings, it's Red Bull. And with that, we wrap up another weekend of motorsport action. But with more races lined up, be sure to join us when we come back with more Formula 1.